let's start with today's session, hypertension and atrial fibrillation. A risky couple, even more when the family expands. I will introduce to you the concept of hypertension and atrial fibrillation and their interaction. Hypertension. The most important modifiable risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. It's the leading cause of mortality in Europe. Stroke, end-stage renal, and peripheral vascular disease. If you diagnose hypertension, you can alter outcomes. What is actually the definition of hypertension? Well, normal blood pressures. Is systolic lower than 120 millimeters mercury? And diastolic lower than 80 millimeters mercury. Prehypertension situation is when systolic blood pressure is between 120 and 140 millimeters mercury and the diastolic is between 80 and 89. Stage 1 hypertension is a systolic pressure between 140 and 160 and a diastolic pressure between 90 and 100. Stage 2, when the risk increases, is 160 millimeters or more and diastolic 100 millimeters or more. Hypertension facts that you should know. The most common primary diagnosis worldwide is hypertension, the number one risk factor for global health and a major risk factor for stroke, myocardial infarction, vascular disease and chronic kidney disease. What you should also know is that the worldwide prevalence of hypertension in adults is around 30 to 45 percent. That's not trivial. The prevalence of hypertension in Europe ranges from 9 to 20 percent in the adults. 9 to 20 percent. And it ranges from 44 to 60 in the elderly. Almost 60 percent in the elderly. So most important is awareness. And if we ask people, it appears that only 50 percent of individuals realize that they have hypertension. 50 percent only. And despite intensive medical therapy and guidelines, you see here the period from 1999 to 2016, over that period, with new guidelines and intensive medical therapy and new developments in medical therapy, there is no reduction in prevalence. You see a flat curve. That means that over the years, nothing has changed. And with the increasing aging population, what we see nowadays comes an increase in hypertension prevalence. If you look at these bars here, I'm just going to ask you to look at the light greens. And that's 60 years and over. And I put the circles for you there. So 63% in the total, 60, almost 58.5% in men, and 668 in women have hypertension. That's not trivial. That's huge. Hypertension is also associated with worse outcomes if you don't treat it or when it's uncontrolled. And these are these two. You see here the highest event rate is in the patients that are left untreated or uncontrolled hypertension. There is a relation between hypertension and atrial fibrillation. Long-standing hypertension results in aortic stiffness. Aortic stiffness then results in left ventricular hypertrophy and increased left ventricular and diastolic pressure. And these two, left ventricular hypertrophy and increased end diastolic pressure, results in LA dilatation, and with that comes atrial fibrillation. Here you see the prevalence of new onset AF in hypertension. And even if it's in red, intensive treatment, or it's in blue, standard treatment, the prevalence of atrial fibrillation is exactly the same. So treatment has some effect, but not as much as we want. We need to be aware. We need to increase awareness. AF occurs frequently in hypertension, and with that comes a high risk of stroke. Now I come to the point. We can change things. We can change. And early home detection enables identification of patients with AFib or proximal AFib and permits earlier treatment of AFib by anticoagulating them and possibly preventing 
disabling events. We can do something as long as we realize and we create awareness and we can detect. My conclusions are simple. Hypertension is prevalent. It's associated with increased mortality. Hypertension is associated with cardiovascular disease and stroke. Hypertension is associated with atrial fibrillation. Early detection of hypertension atrial fibrillation permits early treatment. And if you treat the patient early and the patient is aware, we together can prevent adverse events.